Fontana. Now Farrell. Wagner. And here's Shabilko. Wagner's delivery low. Oh, it sneaks in. An own goal that ricocheted off the post. A stroke of good fortune for Philadelphia. Well, Shabilko gets out wide. Kai Wagner makes a good run into the space. Whips the ball. The Revolution have cover. But it's when Shabilko plays Kai Wagner, he takes a look and just whips it along the ground. Farrell goes to ground, makes the contact. At that, from that spot, there's nothing Matt Turner can do. He got his hand on it, but... Montero. That's a wide for Wagner. Fontana making the run. No offside flag yet. A touch goalwards by Fontana. And he continues to punish the Revs. The Union celebrate a second goal. Anthony Fontana is a gifted young attacking midfielder. It's a good run, bend in the space. He waits for it, and he knew exactly where Matt Turner was, and he puts this delicate lob to the far post. He takes a peek, knows where the keeper is, and this has the presence of mind to lob Matt Turner from that distance. He's creative. It's ingenious. He's red hot, too. And it's 2-0 Philadelphia Eagles. Montana. Kessler's header. Magundes finds win. Holster snaps his pass to Tejon. He has two runners. Jones to the outside. Takes a shot instead and buries it from downtown. Tejon smacks it into the back of the net. The Reds pull one back. Game on. It starts with Polster playing it wide. Tejon gets on it. Dewan Jones running. Kai Wagner has to honor that run. Defense drops off and he just lashes it. He waits and then he makes great contact. Far post kisses the crossbar. 30 Eastern, 7.30 here on the West Coast. Thursday night, looking forward to that one as Leal chance to come forward for Nashville now. Jones in front of him, Dunlady as well. Has been trying to recover. Rantale all from a long way. Pressure from Nashville has paid off. We talk about their positioning. FC Dallas's inability in transition to get forward. And look at them here. Leal picks this one up. He's got options both sides. Picks out Jones. It comes back to him across. And then it's just one against one. It takes a wicked deflection here that takes it past Maher. But what a strike it is. And what a move from Nashville. Nothing less than what they've deserved in this game. Talk about being the protagonist. It has been Nashville. That one, that wicked deflection there. Mara's going the other way, can't readjust, come back to that near post. Can draw on experiences from the past or other, other seasons and of, of a group of players that has gone on and managed these types of situations. You're getting down to the crunch line here now with the team that's in the playoff position. A shot from a long way down. It's Nashville who put one in. Well, this one takes a deflection as it comes through. It, it comes out of, out, of, out of absolutely nothing. Lovitz has the ball. Nobody's in front of him. Caddies had dropped into a wide position and says, I'll take the shot there. And it just comes off the foot of Prasan. You'll see it. He just dangles that leg out. Mara once again beaten for the second time tonight on a deflection. The first one from Leal, this time from Cadiz. And you just see his head just go down. Just absolutely nothing he can do. He's going to his left, comes back to his right. You know what Nashville needed right now? Another deflected goal. Obviously, the amount he's been able to score. This attack has been red hot. Six against the Galaxy. And I, I think this is a, a very well-coached team. A, a team that has a lot of talent up against, yes, the Sounders. There's Daniel Rios now a chance for Nashville to add the third. Rios! Ziegler out of this game. Watch as he picks this one up. Really smart run. Take a little cut. Sit down. Let me have the rest. And then the composer will smash it into that far post. Great work. Rios missed that chance earlier in the half. He gets one back here. A little dance inside, inside out. Oh my goodness. Ziegler's not going to want to watch that one back because he just turns him around. 
And he continues to start for Raul Rui Diaz, who even though he tested positive for COVID-19 on international duty as Villafania's cross is going to find Felipe Mora. The trailer is Jimmy Char, saved by Fry. Flores the follow, but he scores. Andres Flores, his first game in more than a year, his first goal in two years, have given the Timbers once again the early lead against Seattle. Well, it comes in transition here. The Portland Timbers doing so well down this left-hand side. Getting Viafania into the attack, puts it in a dangerous area. And you see Mora, he readjusts his run. So Shane O'Neill wasn't looking. He was looking just directly at Mora over his shoulder to see his position. The ball is short, so he comes back. It's an excellent hold up there. First touch is excellent. Sets up Chara. And then Flores on the follow-up. Just smashes it on the half volley. Nothing Stefan Fry can do. And in his first appearance of the season, in the 10th minute, gives the Portland Timbers the lead once again. Will he show Al Paolo to take it? Al Paolo's out, swinging ball, lifted in, a free chance, and a goal, let's go, Bruin! Bruin's first MLS goal in over a year is a stoppage time equalizer for Seattle! the Portland Timbers as they have all season and it's a set piece late you see Will Bruin at the back post completely unmarked nobody on either post and they just let him drift off he's on the right hand side of your screen it's just a little bit of a pick it just loses Zuperich who gets sucked towards the ball and doesn't stay alert for the second ball talking about Will Bruin lack of influence on the game lowest touches on the team as Alexi Lala said you only need one moment that's what Alex Five corners on the night. Ball in, headed down and in. Walker Zimmerman gives the home team the lead. And he stomps in celebration. It was always a danger, Charlie. They get the corners, they keep pushing. And then Walker Zimmerman rises above the timing. He gets all of it. Finds the back of the net and you can see he's proud. He does the strut, like, of course. I'll put the team on my back. I'll get the goals to get us the results at home. Buxa trying to get free, drives a shot, and it's 1-1! The Polish striker rifles it into the back of the net. And the Reds answer back. Adam Buxa, you pay designated players to score goals just like that you're down one nil to a team that is defending they get numbers behind the ball you have to have a target striker who can hold the ball up and create his own shot he does that it's the cut to his his less favored right foot you see he cuts it back the spin the pirouette and then hammers it home with the right foot it's knowing the space he's aware of where the defenders are the turn right here and then between the legs, you have to have a target striker who can hold the ball up and create his own shot. He does that. It's the cut to his, his less favored right foot. You see, he cuts it back, the spin, the pirouette, and then hammers it home with the right foot. It's knowing the space. He's aware of where the defenders are. The turn right here and then between English broadcasts of the game is Inter Miami nil Orlando City nil so far after 12 minutes Alejandro yeah here to invite everyone to the English broadcast this is a dangerous one Jose this could be it DK DK makes it one nothing in the 12th minute back to you guys done better nice pass into the space great run great way to use his body to win the position and then DK, who is candidate for Rookie of the Year, just puts it away in that one-on-one -on -one against McCarthy. Boom! Just like that, Orlando 1-0. Too much uh, strength from uh, Daryl DK on uh, Nicolas Figal and too much speed too. Urso is trying to take the ball away. Matuidi making the run. The rebound, the shot by Morgan Pizarro inside the 18. Pizarro, Matuidi, it's an on goal. It's an on goal. Yes, at the end.
into the first half. The shot by Matuidi. And it's going to be an own goal by Robin Jensen. Take another look at it. Matuidi with the ball. A lot of luck. Pizarro gets the ball, turns around, takes the shot. Deflection. Goes in. No space. And with a little bit of luck, with a lot of luck, I must say, Inter Miami has tied this one up. Nice juggle there by Pizarro and Matuidi again. Two out of two for Alejandro Berri today. A corner. Oh! It's the header by Leandro Gonzalez Pires. 89th minute from a set piece. And Inter Miami, it's up on the scoreboard. Two to one. Great header by Leandro Gonzalez Pires. Bad defending. Look, I, I saw more white jerseys than purple jerseys in that area. He's certainly on a bump to a group. Gressel chips it. It's still there. Good opportunity, and DC have scored. It's Russell Knaus playing center back today, connecting with Julian Gressel. And this ball just lollipopped over the top. Miles Robinson on the wrong side of Russell Canals. Donovan Pines gets the body. And Russell Canals really with a very simple finish. Gets enough of it by Brad Guzan, who isn't able to keep it from the back of the net. for Lennon. Needs the angle, gets it for Joe. Brilliant ball! Brilliant goal! Joe Gallagher scores! A lift off inside Mercedes-Benz Stadium! The breakthrough that this crowd needed. This space we talked about, and Brooks Lennon finding that time to pick his head up. Pinpoint delivery to the back post, and now not just a single forward and Kubo Torres crashing the box, but John Gallagher on the back side of Donovan Pines gets in front of Odoy Acham and makes no mistake sticking this by Bill Amin and leveling the score. Fisher for Reyna. Atlanta United needs the ball, but DC also need a goal to have any hopes at all of making the playoffs Paredes cuts inside brilliantly plays it back for Rivas chance for DC and they've won it would you believe it Rivas scores his first MLS goal in stoppage time in Atlanta See Paredes run from the wing and laid back. Rivas makes no mistake. This is a fantastic first touch from Paredes around Brooks Lennon. Rivas able to collect and stuff this in the top corner. Past Miles Robinson. Proving academic performance, excuse me. Make your contribution to Raise for Plays now by texting plays to 76278. Here's Jared Stroud. Back post is Kyle Duncan. Duncan cuts it back on his left, and it's in for New York Rebels. The visitors get on the board here about seven minutes before halftime, and it's the outside back, Kyle Duncan. 1 0 to Red Bulls. This play here starts on a throw in. A little bit of confusion at the back post. Bornstein has his shoulders turned. Can't see Kyle Duncan at that back post. And cuts it inside. And look at the finish here. Probably Shuttleworth about five yards off his line here. Probably looking for that shot right there. Then he cuts it back and nicely bent. It's been swallowed up by gray jerseys. Now it's Sekulich who also in towards the back post. Seconds might fall for Madron. Working on Stroud. Dinked in towards Frankowski. Cushion down. Here's Sekulich on the first time. There's Barrett on the doorstep. And for the moment, Chicago have equalized. It's 
it's Robert Barrett yet again. A last of all cross from Boris Sekulic and it's 1-1. Ball gets played out wide. Frankowski with the knockdown here. And yeah, no offside there for me. Kyle Duncan as that ball's played. Kyle Duncan as it's played there is the last defender there. You saw it in that replay at the near side. Very difficult for the defender to clear out there, but Shuttleworth 40 yards away from home and needed to be. Sends it back in. Aliceta again. Now it's Perich. Flips it across. A diving header is off the crossbar and it's poked home. And after all the missed chances, it's Zivislav Frankowski. Fire lead at 2 to 1. Gets on the end of this one. That's after the knockdown. Aliceta out to Berich. The initial header here by Fabian Herbers. Good save by Ryan Mara. Frankowski, I'm sure he's saying to himself, finally, finally I get on the end of one of these. And it doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to find the back of the net. The fire at the moment have come out in this second half and have been the better side and deserve two goals up to one. Four minutes separating the Chicago Fire from what would be a huge win and their first come from behind win of 2020. It would put them in a tie for ninth place with the Montreal Impact. Or at least as it stands, as Shikoski goes for goal from distance. This falls kindly for Brian White, saved off the line, and Barlow can't finish it off, still not finished, and eventually it's in. New York Red Bulls yet again equalizing stoppage time. That's back-to-back -back weeks. Selection that caused the entire thing. Well, Shikoski with the initial shot goes off of Mauricio Pineda's back. Tommy Barlow doesn't play it in here. Sekulic continues, and it's that man again, Brian White. 90th plus. Ties it up for the Red Bulls here. This is heartbreaking for the Chicago Fire because in this second half, they were certainly the better side, but we were talking with about 10 minutes to go in this one. The corner, it catches the woodwork, and then the rebound is punched in. Minnesota finds a winner at the death. It's Aaron Schoenfeld. The rebound on the corner kick. Heartbreak for the orange and blue. So to throw everything at this FC Cincinnati team. This is just grit. It's getting that second ball. It came off the post. It's not a clean goal. It's a cruel way for FC Cincinnati to lose this game. Gone past the midway point of the second half. Tenor hole. Nice. Maxi slips it ahead. This is Mora up. Oh, and now Medina puts it in. Maxi to Matarita to Jesus Medina, and it is 1 0 New York City. The pass forward was brilliant. Morales does the business here to Mata. Initially, I thought the chance is gone, but Jesus Medina in the right place to get back on top of the ball and lash it in the back of the net for the opening goal. There's not much that Camacho can do right there. He might have been better just playing it out of play. Jesus Medina doesn't care. He'll take his chance and that's his goal. Now Tanner Holm cut there is Maxi Morales. And it is 2-0. What a feed by Tanner Holm and Maxi makes no mistake. And New York City has the insurance goal. Exactly what I want to see. The little genius takes his time to pick his pass. Tenderholm, excellent getting forward. And the back pass to Morales is inch perfect. When Maxi Morales gets in this type of position, he is not going to miss the opportunity. It's a beautiful strike. Beats the goalkeeper, beats the last defender, finishes in the top corner. That's what Maxi Morales is here for. That's why he's the number 10. And New York City get their goal to make a little bit of a guarantee on the three points they have in their pocket. What? He delivers, trying to attack, and there it is. It's Tony Orocho and his goal for New York City. And his first MLS goal. Tenacity. Didn't quite know he had this type of finish in him. On the volley, goalkeeper has got absolutely no chance. What a nice finish that is from Tony Rocha. 3-0.
In the open space, somewhat open space, Montero played it back, advantage called, I would think there. Here's Wagner, left sideline with some room. Wagner, teasing ball in, yes. goal! What a goal, what a goal! Sergio Santos came flying through Union lead. Oh, what a dupe that was, brilliant stuff. I mean, it was a brilliant switch. This is a great ball. Here's the play out wide to him. He goes ahead and then he just flicks it across into the middle, exactly where you want it. And look at this. Oh, at Lansing header. That time he just headed the ball. The last time he tried to direct the ball, this time he just heads it and he dupes the old on your bike. What a score that was. I mean, I know the score first the last time the Met too, but you got to make that stand up. That was a brilliant goal. It was set up so well. Not sure about the dance. Jamiro spots it. This one towards the back post area. Headed in. Not a down. McKenzie. 2 0 Union. Open like that. Now let's take a look at this play. It goes very deep. It's kept alive here. Oh, yeah. He's onside. There's no question about it. He dips the old onion bag. Shabalko keeps it alive and McKenzie finishes it off. Shabalko served the main course and McKenzie said, yep, yeah, I'll have a share of that. And he puts it away and gives them a 2-0 lead. The second goal of the season. That's what happens when your confidence goes, JP. When you're confident, you get to those balls. When you're not confident, you don't. Nice ball. Aronson let it go for Montero at the cross. Kiss that baby, good boy. Oh, what a goal. Montero second of the year on an incredible dummy by Brendan Aronson. A strike. Watch this. Here's the ball being stolen by Shebeko. He does very well here. He slips it across into the middle. Here's Aronson. Let it go right between his legs. And Montero give the keeper no chance. Top shelf right down off the crossbar. Absolutely brilliant strike. Oh, what a dupe that is. Three of them now. From about 23 yards away, Montero's second goal of the year. Shabilka was involved in that one as well. Firmly pressed on that front pedal. Martinez put it too far in front of him. McKenzie steps up. Wagner, they're all feeling this confidence. Wagner playing it in. Shot. Goal. Santos. He has two. The Union have four. Kai Wagner, what a night he's having. Okay, he hasn't scored a goal, spoke. McKenzie plays it out wide. Here it comes back across into the middle. And there's Santos. Look at that. The keeper's on the wrong side completely. The one before that, he just missed it. He put it over the top. This one, he keeps it down along the grass. And he dupes the old onion back again. What a night this is turning out for the Union. Now pushed on the left side, Aronson. Shabilko. Looks to return it. And then Santos, can he stay on side? Here is Aronson give in it, the box. Give it, give it, give Santos! It. Yes! Patrick! 5 0 Union! Run by Aronson. Great ball by Shevelko and Aronson. I'm waiting on him to give it. I thought he was going to fall. You can hear me saying, give it. He does give it eventually. And look at that. He just tucked it away with his left foot. Duped the Olonga bike. That's the hat trick on the night for Santos. And what a beautiful sight it is as far as Santos is concerned. Three goals. This one off the outside or the inside of his left foot. I mean, he makes it look so easy. Great ball from Aronson. The Western Conference Championship. Valentin. The wing hands into Memo Rodriguez and Aimon Roof kept it out, but not the second follow-up. Another Memo moment as he's down inside the Columbus goal, but not after taking the opening spoils. One nothing, Houston. All the way back there, where Zer Zerk Valentin steps in at the right time to intercept the pass from Milton Valenzuela, and then. 
guess who it is? Track the runner out of midfield. Memo Rodriguez has been the most dangerous player for the Houston Dynamo, and he continues to do that run straight down the heart of the Columbus crew, finds a way to get enough pace on the first shot that it at least gives him an opportunity if there is a deflection. Yes, that'll fall. Namath in the vicinity. Did it go off a Dynamo defender? No matter, it's 1-1. See how he's inside in that channel. It's pulling the outside back towards the, the outside back for the Columbus crew. So there's a switch in the, defend the defending players and then it makes it difficult when you play a ball in that is bending back towards you. Now Elie, through to Dia. Still Dia on top of it in the penalty area, poked away now. Espinoza into Polito. Polito on the 18th, and Polito puts it in! It was only a matter of time for Sporting KC and Alan Polito back in action for Sporting Kansas City. And it was just this relentless pressure. Great ball there from Roger Espinosa. Colorado Rapids give Alan Polito way too much time. He can turn, hits this one, coming back near post. Yarborough has no shot there. Great finish from Alan Polito and really, really good play overall from Sporting. That goal is well deserved here within 10 minutes of the second half. Russell to take the set piece. And it falls to Andreu Fontas, who calmly slots it home. First goal in a Sporting KC shirt for Andreu Fontas. And Sporting KC have doubled their advantage. An unlikely goal scorer here, Nate, but a good finish from Fontas. On the set piece here, that second wave. Not sure if it was... Maybe Colorado Rapids player got it, but Pontos was cool there. Calm and collected, slots that one in. Big moment for him. Congrats, he deserves that after coming back from that inch here, that second wave. Not sure if it was maybe Colorado Rapids player got it, but Pontos was cool there. Calm and collected, slots that one in. Big moment for him. Congrats, he deserves that after coming back from that injury, putting a, a good game down in Dallas. And now back at home, gets his first goal for the club. Anticipating that pass, getting in the lane, getting a toe, breaking it up. Really good for Millie. Unlucky that that Hurtado couldn't spring there on the breakaway. There's another interception by Elie. Now Gotti, Kinda has it, running at the defense. In the penalty area, Kinda, and he's denied first time, but second time, he puts it in! And it's 3-0! And it's three points for Sporting! Kansas City win it in a good spot. Get it to Kinda, who, great little move there. Rebound, tucks it away. Great ball, too, from Johnny Russell to find him. Gotti Kinda is so dangerous one-on-one. -on -one. A little bit fortunate there, but he'll take it. Sporting Kansas City thoroughly deserved this 3-0 lead. It's all smiles for Sporting. I don't know if Russell gets the assist or not, since that was a second shot attempt by Kinda, but if he does... Which they definitely are. They're playing well at home. They're playing well on the road. Sporting Kansas City really have things going for themselves right now. Cherso trying to get around Austin Trusty. He does so. Cherso now with a foot race on Danny Wilson. Cherso holds off the challenge and he scoops it over the goalkeeper. And there's the cherry on top for Sporting KC. The Cherso with the exclamation point. Cherso, this pace is just incredible. Get there in front of Trusty. Fighting off Wilson this whole time. And then the composure, Nate, to little scoop over Yarborough. That is an excellent individual goal there from Gerso. Just relentless, the determination there to get on the score sheet. That is well done to Gerso. Look, I don't know if goal differential will come into play for tiebreakers or not. 
Earthquake player a little deeper than 25 yards from the Whitecaps goal on that occasion. Now the break is on the other way as Ali Adnan left for dead. It's a ball into the danger area and it's 1-0. What a ball at Fierro. Smashes home right-footed. Ali Adnan beaten for pace down the right side. And then an inch-perfect ball for Fierro at the back post. And Evan Bush beaten in minute number 24. And the Whitecaps playing from behind with Shea Salinas and company celebrating. And it's a goal we've seen before. Again, it's over the head of Nerwinski as he tucks inside Veselinovic too far close to the ball. He's got to pick up his runner centrally. You can see the man wide open coming down the far side. It's very well taken from Fierro, but the ball in is so pre precise from Christian Espinoza. But Nerwinski, it's his man in the end. The right back needs to pick up the wide player there. And again, he's caught central inside Veselinovic too far close to the ball he's got to pick up his runner centrally you can see the man wide open coming down the far side it's very well taken from Fierro but the ball in is so pre precise from Christian Espinoza but Nerwinski it's his man in the end the right back needs to pick up the wide player there and again he's caught central and as I mentioned just a little bit earlier San Jose looking to take advantage of that ball. We've seen him drill a couple, but this is well out. Let's see if he can hit the target here. It's not a bad effort. Oh, it's a great goal! Ali Adnan does find the corner! An absolute peach of a free kick! And Ali Adnan has put these two teams level at minute 50. And that answers your question. Yes, it's in with within shooting range. And he gets enough power, but the perfect precision into the top corner. Marcikowski at full stretch, can't get near it. And the Whitecaps right back in this. And is the comeback on to try to reverse the scoreline again? Well, early doors it is. Threads it for Cavallini. Who does manage to get away, finds Dahomey. They've combined before, these two. Dahomey. Good ball across and tapped into the back post. Ricketts, his second of the season. What a run by Dahomey. And the Whitecaps have turned this game around. Quiet for most of the night, but makes the run after Dahomey. Does terrific work down the left-hand side. Lima and then Alanis don't get tight enough. And the shot is stopped by Marcinkowski, but right into the path of Ricketts. It's a decent save from the goalkeeper. After a pretty good strike from Dahomey from that angle. May have been going wide, but... As it stands, it goes right into the path of Ricketts. Look at the smile on his face. More information on MLS Unites to vote is available at MLSsoccer.com slash vote. Goalkeeper was left stranded and pays the price. Maybe Jonathan Klinsman's inexperience exposed, but Danny Masovsky is the man to celebrate once again. For the corner here, was this ball out? Looked it. That looked out to me. So now the play continues. It goes all the way into Diego Rossi. And then the question is, is Musovsky in an offside position? He is not because Daniel Sterez was left arguing about the call on the other end of the field. He keeps Musovsky on line. Jonathan Klinsman comes off his line too late. And what a fantastic finish there from Musovsky. But that play all started with what looked like that ball being out of bounds. And it should have been a corner for the LA Galaxy. Right for this. Looking for the grand finale. Maybe Vela will provide it on his return. Normal service immediately resumed. Biggest thing I wanted to get out of this game from an LAFC perspective was, especially in the second half, seeing the movement and the ability from Carlos Vela and the confidence with that MCL. He's wearing a sleeve on the leg, and at times a lot of players have said wearing something on that leg, it constantly is a reminder there's something wrong. He just put all those questions to bed with that finish with his right foot coming off the bench.